Hi. Yeah, Ed Brown, Ed here. How you doing, folks? Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Edward Lewis of the family or clan of Brown. Uh, I am a United States Constitution Ranger, and what you're about to hear this afternoon here is a moment of truth, of absolute fact beyond a shadow of a doubt. It's time that this nation began to pay attention to what's really going on to expose the criminal element within our administrative areas of government and elsewhere, all working in collusion for the detriment of the American people. As the United States Constitution Ranger, over 13 years ago, we were asked to conduct, uh, so I was not a Constitution Ranger at the time, but as the Un-American Activities Investigations Commission was asked, asked by a Citizens Ad Hoc Committee to investigate criminal element within our administrative government. We've been kept keeping our mouths shut during that period of time and did just that. By two or three years later uh, into the investigation, by around 94, we had decided, my wife and I had with others, that the Internal Revenue Service was the target uh, agency or department to bring to the public's attention as being totally criminal and operating in this nation unlawfully. We did so and spent all these years in our investigation waiting for them to become offensive against us uh, so that we could file suit against them and make it a public issue because we could not find one single administrative agency, law enforcement agency anywhere, whether it was local town, city, county, state, or national, to join with us in this investigation and with the evidence, which was hard evidence, uh, that these people were conducting criminal activity in this nation. So finally, in the 2004, the Internal Revenue Service, 28 armed agents, along with the uh, two Lebanon Police Department of Lebanon, New Hampshire officers, there were three observers with a sniper on the hill. There were three other state troopers, uh, two up on the hill with the snipers to protect their backs, with the sniper to protect their backs, and two another state trooper across the street in the uh, Powerhouse Mall in West Lebanon, New Hampshire. These 28 armed plus agents were there just to download a computer. It wasn't there to just download a computer, but however, that's what they said they were there for. We said if you had called, you could have come at any time, one or two of you, and you, we would have been happy to oblige and let you download the computer. I said, why all the firepower? Oh, well, we were nervous because we heard you were this or you were that. What nonsense. They're a bunch of children. From that, we now had this lawsuit that we required to go against these criminal elements with our administration. We filed suit with Judge Jean Berling in the Superior Court in Grafton County, where the uh, business office is of my wife, and she immediately took this case. And of course, I paid the file, they paid the dues or the filing of the, the case to uh, the court, and the court then, uh, under Judge Jean Berling again, turned it over to the federal court the same day. The federal court then invited me to come in and to present testimony because it said it was their case now, not the state's case. And I said, I am not able to do so, sir, because you have no jurisdiction in this subject matter. This is a state tort case. This is not a federal case. So I, I can't interrupt here. Pause, folks. Okay. From, I'm sorry, I lost my floor where I was. The federal courts then dismissed the case after I could not, I told them I could not enter. My wife and I said we could not enter into that jurisdiction as it was unlawful. Federal jurisdiction, Larry B. Kraft, read it. Crystal Clay, folks, it's on the computer. It'll come up as, a, as the first item when you go into a search window under federal jurisdiction, state, or nation. They then turned the federal case over to, um, I'm sorry, the federal case then was dismissed two weeks later because we wouldn't go in or enjoin 
They waited about six months until May 23rd, and then using trickery with the Lebanon uh, Water Department and the City of Lebanon and the Lebanon Police Department under Chief Alexander, uh, then came down and slammed dunk my wife and myself, arrested us and brought us in, had me strip searched, had me face the wall, bend over backwards, spread the cheeks of my buttocks in front of a camera, which is one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen one man do to another. The U.S. Marshals should absolutely be ashamed of themselves. And it's about high time we started paying close attention to the rules of engagement on any situation that these mercenaries do. And I say mercenaries, ladies and gentlemen, because all police officers today in this nation are mercenaries. They are all guns for hire. That is all they do. They will tell you straight out, I'm just working for my pension, and I will do whatever I am told to do under any circumstances. That includes the Constitution uh, Sheriff's Department office, Sheriff Prozo in this case in Sullivan County, where the home is, the land is here, and of course Sheriff Dutile in Grafton County, where the land is there. They were supposed to protect the people in that county. They are the most powerful organization in the state, even over the governor in that county. And they refuse. Sheriff Prozo told me directly to my face six years ago, Mr. Brown, he said, I will absolutely do what the state tells me to do. That man just broke every oath of office uh, that he ever took for his position. And his position should be terminated. And he should never be allowed to run in state government again for that. At any rate, none of the law enforcement officers are protecting the citizens in their communities. What they're protecting is their own personal and enrichment, their jobs, their career. Not all of them, though. There are some good officers out there. But the numbers are getting smaller and smaller each year, and you know that, especially in the news media. However, this case here, uh, somebody remind me where I just left off. Bottom line, with the Internal Revenue Service, we ask them, show us the law. We will pay what you ask. Since 1994. And in 19, since 1994 and to this day, we would still take care of that obligation if they feel it was an obligation and they can prove it is. We'll take care of it immediately. We'll write them out a check. Within 48 hours, we'll get the monies out there in the field and we'll get it back to them. They can't do it, folks. There is no law. How many times and how many ways do we have to sell that to you? And the news media should know this. You're ashamed of yourselves, folks. Do your research. You're not doing it. I'm going to bring on uh, RBN Radio uh, Republic Broadcast Network, uh, John Stadmiller and Michael Harzard. Uh, and John would. Yeah, I'm, we're, we're in front of them right now, Alex. Should I make it quick, okay? All set? Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Good. I don't have to hold that. Uh, John Stadmiller from uh, Radio... Robert, I'm sorry, Republic Broadcast Network? Where is it? Right here. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I, can I ask you to clarify the last point you made? Which is? <clears throat> you were saying that um, you don't believe that uh, you have to make taxes because there's no law. Right, this is Michael. That is correct, sir. There is no law. Put it in your words. There is no law. How can I put it in my words? We looked and looked and looked for and we're still looking today. There is no law. Well, pause for a moment. John, before we bring you, I just want to let my wife can explain this. Elaine, would you explain that to them, please? She can, she, my wife can explain it to you much clearer than I can. Hey, Kat, we're going to go hot. <clears throat> just keep it. Okay. 
for many years, many thousands of people have been asking the IRS to show them the law requiring the average American to pay in tax on the fruits of their labor. They have never done so. Joe Bannister, who was uh, an investigator in the CID for the IRS, did a inve two-year investigation while he was employed by the IRS. And at the end of the two years, he put together a report stating that there is no such law. He sent this report up to his superiors, and he was invited to resign from the IRS. Sherry Peel Jackson, a CPA who worked for the IRS. When she went to work for them, she was determined she was going to collect the $50,000 reward that the We the People Foundation has had out for about 12 or 15 years to pay anyone who can show them the law. So as a CPA working in the IRS, she also did a similar investigation, and at the end, she resigned from the IRS because she knew there was no such law, and she and Joe would no longer participate in persecuting Americans into paying an unlawful tax. The tax itself is okay, the, the code itself is okay, except for the convoluted manner in which it is written. It is the misapplication of this law that is the problem. My husband and I were charged with violating 7201 and 7202 of the Title 26, the Income Tax Code. Those are both nothing more than penalty clauses. They do not impose any kind of legal duty on anyone. All they basically say is, if you're supposed to do this and you don't do it, this is what's going to happen. We're also charged with structuring. Structuring was uh, put into law to track money laundering. There's no money laundering here. Even the judge said that in the court. There's no question of money laundering. If there is such a law, why don't they just show it? No one has been able to do so. And when you cannot produce a law in law, then that means there is no such law. That's what we're all about, ladies and gentlemen. You and we have been victimized. We've been lied to. People's lives have been ruined. They have been killed, incarcerated, their homes stolen from them, all for a law that doesn't exist. It's time everyone took a look. If we all stop paying it, then what are they going to do? The question is asked, well, how are we going to run the government? Well, all the money that you pay in those taxes goes to pay the interest on the national debt. Not one dime of it goes to run the government. The government runs along just fine on all the other taxes and imposts and fees and everything else. So that's pretty much, I guess, all I have to say about it. So uh, do you want to bring on John now? Yes, I do. Of course we're concerned about it, because they have stated uh, that they have no concern about the legality of this issue. They're just going to do what they're told. So yeah. sure, that's a worry. So the, which, which, which is why, if they're supposed to be law enforcement officers, well, they should be enforcing the law. They're not doing so, which means they're mercenaries. That's all they are. They're paid mercenaries. Yeah, they oh, said a lot me. of things like that, but they lied. Excuse me, Dan they Riley, lied. two weeks ago on Thursday, there were 13 ghillie-suited, mm. uh, battle-dressed uniform individuals up in the woods, fired two shots at his head. They would have killed him if he wasn't running and moving a little bit. The shots yeah. missed. Yeah. They, they slammed to the ground, six on each side of the road, jumped up, slammed him to the ground. Then they put a big bruise on his forehead here. Then they tasered him after he was on the ground. This is a new rule of engagement for getting information. They intended to come in that day, obviously. If they were going to kill him, they were going to try to kill us. Mm -hmm. Now, the whole complexion has changed. They have just brought this thing to a new level. Mm -hmm. Now, they plan on bringing, they plan on doing the same thing to us as they did at Ruby Ridge. Remember, if they're not stopped at our door, they're going they're to be at your, your door, door next. 
If you John. think not, remember, they were at Ruby Ridge's door. We didn't stop them there, did we? Or Waco, did we? And other, other people around the country, now they're at our door. And then they'll be at your door next. We can go indefinitely. We're managing. We're doing fine. We're managing. How do you see this playing out? How do you, how long do you plan to? It's up to them. It's up to them. They, 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 they're setting the, they're setting the game. If they want to bring it to a level further than this. That's their move. We're just sitting here minding our own business, obeying the law. They wish to break the law and come onto this land. And then the paperwork on this land shows clearly who it belongs to, and it doesn't belong to us. Mm. Now that there's the land in West Lebanon. So I don't know how they think they're going to be able to come in to the land and take God's land. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to get around that. Now, you explain your uh, new appeal in regards to a federal jury to make up of a... We don't appeal to a criminal we organization. We have not appealed. We will Can not appeal. You understand and remember that this organization I'm talking mm -hmm. about, if you look up in the records, folks, is Freemasonry. Whether you like it or not, okay, they're focused. everywhere. Okay. Mrs. Brown, are you worried about anything? Oh, sure. <laughs> Wouldn't you be? Yeah. Would yeah. you like to trade places? They're coming in. If they come in, it's we're dead. That's it. We will not. We will not. We will not be arrested. We will not volunteer to go into their prison for a non-crime. We have committed no crimes. So we don't submit. We, to to we told them we, we either walk out of here free, or we die. That's it. And we do this for you, folks. Don't forget it. So, I'm sorry. Say that again. Well, yeah, they're, they're trying to apply the code, uh, the income tax, to all of us. Most of us here have, have no liability to pay that tax. You're only, you're only uh, liable to pay that tax if you, if you are engaged in uh, alcohol or tobacco activities, uh, certain corporate activities, uh, certain offshore income, that sort of thing. They know this. Well, ladies and yes. gentlemen, they all know this. This is not the issue of taxes. This is our investigation. This dollar is no joke. We're the only lawful agency left in, the, I should say, organization left in this nation. Let John come. I'm sorry? Just let John come. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. That is here to investigate this sort of thing that can investigate it. Offices we, we, of honor, as the United States Constitution ranges, I'm obligated to protect your mm -hmm. guaranteed rights mm -hmm. under the Constitution. And, however, we, we can go on with this for four hours and, yeah. and discuss it. We need, I need to bring on Mr. Stadmiller now. And Mr. Hurst.